The Huayan or Flower Garland School of Buddhism traditional Chinese, Huayan Pinyin, Huayan, from Sanskrit, Avatamsaka is a tradition of Mahayana Buddhist philosophy that first flourished in China during the Tang dynasty. The Huayan worldview is based primarily on the Avatamsaka Sutra Chinese, Huayan Jing Pinyin, Huayan Jing. The name Flower Garland is meant to suggest the crowning glory of a Buddha's profound understanding of ultimate reality. The Huayan school is known as Hwaeom in Korea and Kegon in Japan. This tradition also had a strong influence on Chan Buddhism. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins and development Origins <inaudible> 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 The earliest texts associated with the Avatamsaka Sutra are the Dusha Jing 280, produced by Lokaksima in the latter part of the 2nd century CE and the Pusa Benya Jing t. 281, translated by Ji Qian in the early to mid-3rd century. There is evidence that these small Buddhavadamsaka sutras circulated on their own as individual scriptures. The translation of the large Avatamsaka Sutra is often dated to the Southern Dynasties, 420 to 589, when a translation team led by Gandharan master Buddhabhadra worked on the sutra. There is also evidence of this sutra tradition in the Northern Dynasties, 386 to 581, where a certain Zongao, 402 to 444, taught the Huayan Samadhi. Topic. Patriarchs The founding of the school is traditionally attributed to a series of five patriarchs who were instrumental in developing the school's doctrines. These five are Dushan Chinese, Du Shun Wade Giles, Tu Shun, responsible for the establishment of Huayan studies as a distinct field. Zian Chinese, Ji Yan Wei Giles, Qi Yan, considered to have established the basic doctrines of the sect. Fazang Chinese, Fa Kang Wei Giles, Fa Sang, considered to have rationalized the doctrine for greater acceptance by society. Chenggan Chinese, Sheng Guan Wei Giles, Cheng Quan, together with Zongmi, are understood to have further developed and transformed the teachings. Gaifeng Zongmi Chinese, Gui Feng Zongmi Wei Giles, Kui Feng Sung Mi, who is simultaneous a patriarch of the Chinese Chan tradition and who also incorporated Taoist and Confucian teachings. The five monks later honored as Huayan patriarchs were erudite scholar practitioners who connected Buddhism with Chinese traditional culture closely, creating a Buddhist historical trend in developing multiple facets while the tradition's essence remained the same. Based on their writings, exegeses, and oral teachings, these men each played a significant and distinct role in the development of the school, although there are certain aspects of this patriarchal scheme which are clearly contrived. For example, Chang'an was born 26 years after Fazang's death. According to Robert Gemello's dissertation on Qi Yen 1976, most if not all of the major themes of Huayan thought can be found in the works of the second patriarch Qi Yen, particularly the classification of scriptures and theories on the Dharmadhatu. Thus he names the patriarch Qi Yen as the crucial figure in the foundation of Huayan. The tradition reached the height of its influence under Fazang, who was the Buddhist teacher of the Empress Wu Zetian (684–705). Another important figure in the development and popularization of Huayan thought was the lay scholar Li Tongshan (Chinese: Li Tong Zan 635–730), the author of the Huayan Lun (Chinese: Hua Yan Lun), a popular and lengthy commentary on the Avatamsaka Sutra. Fazang's disciple Hu Yuan (673–743) also wrote a commentary on the Avatamsaka. Some accounts of the school also like to extend its patriarchship earlier to Asvaosa and Nagarjuna. Topic: <laughs> Stagnation. After the time of Zongmi and Li Tongshan the Chinese school of Huayan generally stagnated in terms of new development, and then eventually began to decline. The school, which had been dependent upon the support it received from the government, suffered severely during the Buddhist purge of 841–845, initiated by Emperor Wuzong of Tang, never to recover its former strength. Nonetheless, its profound metaphysics, such as that of the Four Dharmadhatu Chinese, Si Fa Jia of Interpenetration, had a deep impact on surviving East Asian schools. Texts. 
Topic: <laughs> Avatamsaka Sutra. The Huayan school's worldview was based primarily on the content of what it considered to be the supreme Buddhist revelation, the Avatamsaka Sutra. The Avatamsaka Sutra is a compilation of sutras of various length. The earliest of these texts, the Ten Stages Sutra, maybe dates from the 1st century CE. The Dasapumika Sutra describes the ten stages on the Bodhisattva path. The various sutras were probably joined together shortly before its translation into Chinese. At the beginning of the 5th century CE, the Avatamsaka Sutra integrates the teachings on sunyata and Yogacara thinking. The basic idea of the Avatamsaka Sutra is the unity of the Absolute and the Relative All in one, one in all. The all melts into a single whole. There are no divisions in the totality of reality. I T views the cosmos as holy, as one bright pearl, the universal reality of the Buddha. The universal Buddhahood of all reality is the religious message of the Avatamsaka Sutra. Each part of the world reflects the totality of the cosmos. In each dust mote of these worlds sere countless worlds and Buddhas. From the tip of each hair of Buddha's body are revealed the indescribable pure lands. The indescribable infinite lands All ensemble in a hair's tip of Buddha. All levels of reality are related and interpenetrated. This is depicted in the image of Indra's net. This unity in totality allows every individual entity of the phenomenal world its uniqueness without attributing an inherent nature to anything. Other texts Other Mahayana texts such as The Awakening of Faith in the Mahayana which was a condensation of Chinese thought on awakening and ultimate reality, influenced Huayan masters like Fazang and Zongmi, who both wrote commentaries on the text. The Lotus Sutra was also seen as an important text in this school, though not as important as the Avatamsaka. The Sutra of Perfect Enlightenment was particularly important for Zongmi. The Hawaiian patriarchs wrote numerous commentaries and original treatises on the Mahayana Sutras and Hawaiian philosophy. Fazang, for example, wrote commentaries on the Avatamsaka, the Lankavatara Sutra and the Awakening of Faith. One of the key Hawaiian treatises is on the meditation of the Dharmadhatu attributed to the first patriarch Dushan, another is Fazang's treatise on the Golden Lion which is said to have been written to explain Huayan's view of interpenetration to Empress Wu. Theory and practice Huayan thought is mainly focused on explaining the nature of the Dharmadhatu, the world as it is ultimately, from the point of view of a fully awakened being. It is often said to be the philosophical articulation of Chan meditation. It is influenced by the Avatamsaka and Buddha nature literature as well as by the Chinese Yogacara and Madhyamaka schools. Patriarchs of the schools such as Zongmi were also influenced by Chinese philosophy, particularly the classics of Taoism. Topic. Interpenetration A key doctrine of Huayan is the mutual containment and interpenetration of all phenomena dharmas or perfect interfusion. Yuanrong. Yuanrong. This is associated with what the Huayan sees as its unique contribution, the Dharmadhatu Pratityasamutpada. This is described by Wei Daoru as the idea that Countless dharmas all phenomena in the world are representations of the wisdom of Buddha without exception, and that they exist in a state of mutual dependence, interfusion and balance without any contradiction or conflict. This thought essentially argues that there is no relationship of cause and result among phenomena and that things are not formed sequentially. Instead, they constitute the world by the mutual interfusion of complete equality. According to this theory, any phenomenon exists only as part of the total nexus of reality, its existence depends on the total network of all other things, which are all equally connected to each other and contained in each other. The Huayan patriarchs used various metaphors to express this, such as Indra's net, a hall of mirrors and the world text. To illustrate the doctrine to Empress Wu, the patriarch Fazang called for a candle and placed it surrounded by mirrors on every side. When lit, the candle was reflected in each mirror, and each of the reflections in every other mirror so that in any one mirror were the images of all the others. 
This Buddhist doctrine also includes the views that practicing one teaching is practicing all teachings. Ending one mental defilement is ending all of them. Truth or reality is understood as encompassing and interpenetrating falsehood or illusion, and vice versa. Good is understood as encompassing and interpenetrating evil. Similarly, all mind-made distinctions are understood as collapsing in the enlightened understanding of emptiness, a tradition traced back to the Buddhist philosopher Nagarjuna. Topic: Li and Shi. Another important distinction used by Huayan patriarchs is that of Li and Shi, noumenon and phenomenon which was explained using the metaphor of gold and lions, or water and waves. According to Paul Williams, First, noumenon and phenomena mutually interpenetrate and are in a sense, identical. There is no opposition between the two. The one does not cancel out the other. Second, Fazang explains elsewhere that since all things arise interdependently following Madhyamika, and since the links of interdependence expand throughout the entire universe and at all time past, present, and future depend upon each other, which is to say the total dharmadhatu arises simultaneously, so in the totality of interdependence, the dharmadhatu, all phenomena are mutually interpenetrating and identical. Topic. Fourfold dharmadhatu and meditation The theory of the fourfold dharmadhatu is explained in the Meditative Perspectives on the Huayan Dharmadhatu, Huayan Faji Guanmen, Huayan Faji Guanmen, and its commentaries. This theory is the central meditative framework for the Huayan tradition. Another key text is the Cessation and Contemplation in the Five Teachings of Huayan, Huayan Wu Jiao Zigan Huayan Wu Jiao Ji Guan. The Dharmadhatu is the goal of the Bodhisattva's practice, the ultimate nature of reality which must be known or entered into According to Fox, the fourfold Dharmadhatu is four cognitive approaches to the world, four ways of apprehending reality. The four ways of seeing reality are All dharmas are seen as particular separate events or phenomena This is the mundane way of seeing. All events are an expression of Li, Li the absolute, principle or noumenon, which is associated with the concepts of shunyata, one mind yi shin yi shin, and Buddha nature. Xi and Li interpenetrate li shi w u a i li shi wu i. All events interpenetrate shi shi w u a i shi shi wu i. All distinct phenomenal dharmas interfuse and penetrate in all ways. Zongmi, the three levels of Huayan meditation on the Dharmadhatu correspond to the last three views of the Dharmadhatu are Meditation on true emptiness Illuminating the non-obstruction of principle and phenomena Meditation on universal pervasion and complete accommodation, according to Fox. These Dharmadhatas are not separate worlds, they are actually increasingly more holographic perspectives on a single phenomenological manifold less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 they more properly represent four types or orders of perspectives on experience furthermore for wayan this practice is the solution to the problem of samsara which lies in the fixation or attachment to a particular perspective what we think are the essences of objects are really therefore nothing but mere names, mere functional designations, and none of these contextual definitions need necessarily interfere with any of the others. Other practices According to Paul Williams, the reading and recitation of the Avatamsaka Sutra was also a central practice for the tradition, for monks and laity. Another practice which is highlighted in the Avatamsaka Sutra is that of Buddhanismurti or Nianfo mindfulness of the Buddha. The tradition also mentions two key samadhis the Ocean Seal Samadhi and the Huayan Samadhi. Layman Li Tongshan developed a unique meditative practice based on the ninth chapter of the Avatamsaka Sutra. The practice, named the Contemplation of Buddha Light, Guan, focused on tracing the universal light which is radiated by the Buddha in one's mind and expanding it further outwards. Topic: <laughs> Sudden Enlightenment. Huayan favored the teaching of sudden enlightenment. 
This is because the Buddha nature is already present in all sentient beings and also because their theory of interpenetration entails that Buddhahood is already present at the first stage of a bodhisattva's path. According to Li Tongshan, T he first access of faith in the mind of the practitioner is in itself the culmination of the entire path, the very realization of final Buddhahood. Faith or confidence in the possibility of enlightenment is nothing but enlightenment itself, in an anticipatory and causative modality. Buddhahood was seen as beyond language and stages of practice. Because practices cannot create something that is already not imminent, they were seen as simply revealing what was already there. The patriarch Zongmi formulated his own theory of awakening which was, "...immediate awakening followed by gradual cultivation," and the view that, "...immediate and gradual are not only not contradictory, but are actually complementary." <laughs> Paradox Wayan makes extensive use of paradox in argument and literary imagery. All three types of paradox originate in the tension between conventional and absolute truth. Wayan uses three types of paradox. 1. Emphasizing the concept of sunyata, first is asserted that a phenomenon X is empty, which implies that X is not X. An example from Fazang is the assertion, W. Hen 1 understands that origination is without self-nature, then there is no origination. 2. Reversing the first paradox by asserting that any empty phenomenon is an expression of the absolute non-duality between emptiness and form, or the identity between conditioned, relative reality and the ultimate truth of Tathata. This paradox is derived from two doctrinal sources. The Hua Yen concept of true emptiness. The Hua Yen interpretation of the dialectic of the one mind in the awakening of faith in the Mahayana, Fazang's paradoxical assertion illustrates this second type. When the great wisdom of perfect clarity gazes upon a minute hair, the universal sea of nature, the true source, is clearly manifest. 3. The third variation of paradox is grounded in the Hua Yen doctrine of the non-obstruction of all phenomena. Shi Shi Wu I K. Each phenomenon is perceived as interpenetrating with and containing all others. This paradoxical violation of the conventional order of time and space is exemplified by F. A. Sang's famous essay on the golden lion. In each and every hair of the lion there is the golden lion. All of the lions contained in each and every hair simultaneously and suddenly penetrate into one hair. Therefore, within each and every hair there are unlimited lions. Topic. Classification of Buddhist teachings Buddhism was introduced into China in bits and pieces. When the knowledge of Buddhism grew larger, various schools attempted to get a grip on the Buddhist tradition by developing classifications of teachings, such as the Five Periods and Eight Teachings of the Tiantai School. The Hua Yen School developed a fivefold classification. The Hinayana teachings, especially the Sarvastivadins, the Mahayana teachings, including Yogacara, Madhyamaka. The final teachings, based on the Tathagatagarbha teachings, especially the awakening of faith. The sudden teaching, which revealed Xian rather than verbalized the teaching. The complete, or perfect, teachings of the Avatamsaka Sutra and the Hua Yen school. Hua Yen and Chan had doctrinal arguments regarding which would be the correct concept of sudden awakening. The teachings of the Chan school were regarded as inferior by the Hua Yen teachers. The Chan school polemitized against this classification, by devising its own rhetorics in defense. Influence The doctrines of the Hua Yen school ended up having profound impact on the philosophical attitudes of East Asian Buddhism. According to Wei Dooru their theory of perfect interfusion was gradually accepted by all Buddhist traditions and it eventually permeated all aspects of Chinese Buddhism." Chinese Chan was profoundly influenced by it, though Chan also defined itself by distinguishing itself from Huayan. Sung Mi, the fifth patriarch of the Hua Yen school, also occupies a prominent position in the history of Chan. During the Song, the Hua Yen metaphysics were completely assimilated by the Chan school. References Topic. Sources 
Topic. Further reading Cleary, Thomas Entry into the Inconceivable, An Introduction to Hua Yen Buddhism, University of Hawaii Press, Reprint Edition. ISBN 0824816978 Essays by Tang Dynasty Hawaiian Masters F. A. Zhang 2014. Rafter Dialogue. And. Essay on the Golden Lion. In Justin Tywald and Brian W. Van Norden, eds. Readings in Later Chinese Philosophy. Indianapolis, Hackett Publishing. ISBN 978-1624661907 Jamello, Robert, Gerard, Frederick, Hamar, Imra 2012. Avatamsaka Buddhism in East Asia, Wayan, Kegan, Flower Ornament Buddhism, Origins and Adaptation of a Visual Culture, Asiatisch Forschungen, Monographienreihe zur Geschichte, Kultur und Sprache der Volker Ost U. Zentralassiens, Wiesbaden, Harrisowitz, ISBN 978-3-447-06678-5. Gregory, Peter N. 1983. The Place of the Sudden Teaching Within the Hua Yen Tradition An Investigation of the Process of Doctrinal Change, Journal of the International Association of Buddhist Studies 6 1, 31-60 Haiyan Hamang 2006. The Dawn of Enlightenment, The Opening Passage of Avatamsaka Sutra with a Commentary, Kanjing Publishing. ISBN 9867484100X Hamar, Imra, ed. 2007, Reflecting Mirrors, Perspectives on Wayan Buddhism. Wiesbaden, Harrisowitz Verlag Prince, Tony 2014, Universal Enlightenment, An Introduction to the Teachings and Practices of Hawaiian Buddhism. Kanjing Publishing. ISBN 978-986-7484-83-3 Topic External links Buddhism in a Nutshell, Hua Yen Chong Chung Yuan, The World of Shi and Li of Tung Shan Flower Adornment Sutra, Hua Yen Jing, Avatamsaka Original Text Articles by Imra Hamar